Hey folks, today is May the 9th. It's currently 10:14 in the morning. We're going to do another round of Adjumat FX IQ automated EA testing here. You can see the balance is still 1035. We can check history here. Uh, May 5th was the last time that a trade closed out. And I didn't want to trade or I typically don't want to trade on Mondays. So I uh, avoid that if at all possible. So hopefully we can get a few trades today. Give me one second and I'll pull up Forex Factory. And we can see uh, if there's any news or anything we need to keep an eye on. All right. So as you can see, Tuesday, May 9th, nothing really for us to keep an eye on there, which is always a good thing. And we got the algo trading set up to start taking trades now. And so now we'll just be patient. You can see the uh, EA up top and wait for that first trade to get entered. Hopefully it won't uh, happen at uh you know two or two thirty we definitely wanted to come in before the two o'clock mark which is when i need to uh start getting ready to head out so like i said it's 10 o'clock right now 10 15 so we got several hours to uh get some trading in today all right i'll be back once we get our first opportunity all right folks i stepped away and it looks like we had two trades open one is <clears throat> excuse me this usd cad trade go ahead and enter what is this a buy so we'll go ahead and enter a stop right here and also trailing stop. And then we got USD Swiss franc trade and this one is a sell. So we'll go ahead and place this here. Actually, we can probably just enter the trailing. All right, this is far enough in profit that we can probably uh, just go ahead and do that most likely we would have already had that happen like i said stepped away hopefully uh the trailing will kick in here and take over if not i'll just go ahead and follow it down all right i'll be back hey folks quick update here as you can see actually you can't see because another trade got entered but our usd swiss franc trade just closed out you can see that right here we made six dollars and forty cents on that trade so not bad at all and we can go ahead all right we got our trailing stop in and we'll go ahead and enter that all right so i will pause it Actually, we can take a look at the USD CAD trade as well. You can see we're looking for a nice, healthy push up. Hasn't happened yet, but hopefully it will uh, happen shortly. All right, I'll be back. All right, folks, just a quick update. Our USD Swiss franc trade, you can see it's pushed into profit, and we're now at break even plus one. It's currently 122. So I'll probably turn off the algo at about two o'clock, and we'll just let things uh, fall as they may. So we'll let this continue to uh, trail down and hopefully our USD CAD trade can get a nice healthy push up. Just got to be patient on that one. All right, I'll be back. All right, folks, another quick update. It's 149 right now. We just had our USD Swiss franc trade close out and we can see there we made 11 cents it looks like. Waiting on our next few trades to enter. We still have this USD CAD it's bouncing around here. We'll see if we get a nice push up. All right, I'll be back. All right, folks, we just had another USD Swiss franc trade open here. I already put in the trailing stop. I did have, uh, I think, a question on the previous video where somebody had asked, when I do the FTMO challenge, will I be using the automated or the manual? Definitely be using the manual can get in and out of trades much quicker on the one minute chart. And I uh, just generally prefer the manual version personally. And I know the vendor does not use stops. I've had a few people ask about that as well. So I can choose to not use stops with the uh, trading. You guys can definitely choose to do that. But with these tests, I like to make it as real as possible and i know if i was trading with uh, real money here i would always have a stop in place 
at least until I guess my uh, confidence in the system was at the level of the vendors. All right, so we have this here. We'll continue to watch it. It is now 2.03, so I'm going to turn off the algo, so that way we're not gonna enter into any uh, new trades here. And I'll check one more time about 225 before I have to head out and we'll see what uh, these trades look like. I'll be back. All right, guys, one quick update before I have to head out. It is 225, as you can see there. Our USD Swiss franc trade hasn't uh, moved to break even yet, but it should be doing that momentarily. USD CAD trade, hopefully it uses this level as a support and bounces up from there. When I get back around 536 o'clock, I'll come back and we'll uh, take a look at what happened with these two trades. All right, I'll be back. All right, folks, just a quick update. It's now 548 in the afternoon, as we can see here. Market bounced around, went down quite a bit, and then it uh, bounced back up, as we can see here, currently down about $13. Unfortunately, hasn't gone enough in our direction to uh, trigger the stop loss plus one with the trailing stop so all we can do at this point is uh just be patient and wait to see what happens all right i'll come back maybe about seven or eight and give it a few hours to see if uh, we get some movement in one direction or the other all right i'll be back all right folks just wanted to give you guys one final update for the night as you can see here is 9 51 gonna go ahead and uh, shut it down for the evening and then pick back up tomorrow morning um obviously we did not get back up to break even so we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow and see if we uh hit it overnight hopefully uh we'll get a nice strong push up in the uh, evening hours so we'll be patient and i'll come back with you guys tomorrow morning probably about 8 30 and we'll uh see if this trade is closed out stopped out or taken profit all right i'll be back with you guys then Hey folks, today is May the 10th. It's currently about 9 o'clock in the morning. Just wanted you guys to see what happened with our final trade on USD CAD. As you can see, we had a strong push down and that actually took us out. We can take a look at the history and you can see right there, minus $43.99. Unfortunately, that was our first uh, heavy losing day. Hopefully today we'll be able to uh, make some of that back here. All right, we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to end this one out. Take care.